we're back again to make another video. In this video, as you can see, I have my skillet. So I'm going to be making simple Velveeta cheese, shells and cheese with ground beef. It's very simple, very easy. I think you guys will grasp it very quickly. So the ingredients are ground meat, of course, Velveeta shells and cheese, salt, Tony Chachas, or Tony Saturies. Can't never say that word right. Um, the original Rotel um, diced tomatoes and green chilies, pepper, garlic, and just a dash of salt. So we're gonna get started. I already have my skillet heating up. And the first thing we're gonna do is put the ground beef in. Sorry about that. Put the ground beef in and we're gonna fry this up until it is golden brown. I have a daycare and one day I was trying to figure out what can I fix the babies that will be quick and easy and I can, you know, give it to them and they'll enjoy it. And so I just was, I had already thawed out some hamburger meat. And as I had thawed the hamburger meat out, I knew I needed to cook it because, you know, you don't want to leave the ground beef in there too long because, you know, it'll go bad. And so I was like, okay. Then I had all these boxes of Velveeta shells and cheese. So I was like, I wonder if I brown the ground beef, take some of the, you know, the grease off, drain the grease off, put the Velveeta shells and cheese in with the ground meat, and then season it up real good. Maybe use a little milk to kind of break up the, um, you know, the cheese. And I tried it and I gave it to the children. I started, you know, with very little because this makes a lot. So I started with a very little. And when I tell you those babies ate those shells and cheese with their ground meat up so fast, it was like lightning. They were not playing with their food. You hear me? They were not playing at all. So I would just ground my, you know, cook the ground beef, make sure that it's, you know, cooked all the way through, of course. Um, when it turns brown, that means that it's done. If you still see pink, that means you need to cook it a little longer. And, um, you know, you just want to cook it until it's brown. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this. And once it's browned, um, I'm going to drain the ground meat and then I'll be back. See you soon. Hey y'all, I'm back. As you can see, I have already put the Velveeta shells on uh, so that the noodles can be done. I've already drained the grease on the ground meat and um, I've got the stove back on and it's heating everything back up. And so I'm gonna start putting the, uh, the ingredients that I like to put in here to make it taste really good. This is some garlic salt so you just put a little bit this is some Tony Saturies I don't even know if I'm saying that right y'all and if I'm not I'm sorry I think everybody have a hard time saying that word uh, a little bit of black pepper because you want to put seasoning in this you don't want it to taste bland you know you don't want it to just taste like ground meat a pinch of salt, and I say just a pinch because you've already put garlic salt in there and you've also um, put the tonic saturies in there. So you're just going to stir this around a bit. So stir it around, get all of the ingredients incorporated. Now you're going to put in the Rotel tomatoes. A little at a time because you don't want to overpower this okay you might just want to use maybe a half a can or so and I did not drain this I just put it in here I'm just gonna use a half a can guys okay I'm gonna stir it around a little bit 
Then you're going to take a little bit of milk. And that's just to help to keep it from sticking in the pan. Okay? Because you don't want this it to start sticking and browning. And the meat will be all hard. And you don't want that. You want to keep everything nicely incorporated. Okay? Now you need to put your cheese that came in the box. I've already cut it, and so you would take your cheese and you're just gonna get the cheese out of the packet. Let me turn this way so you can see how I'm just pressing it down and then I like to fold it over and just get it all out of there. Okay. You wanna get all that good cheese out of there. You don't want to leave none in the package, okay? So then you're just going to incorporate it in, all right? Just like I'm doing, just stir it in. Because once it heats it up, it's going to spray it. I'm going to cut my noodles off because they're done. And while this is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and drain my noodles. Noodles don't take but a little bit of time to cook. You don't really want to overcook your noodles because if you overcook it, then it becomes soggy. You don't want a soggy noodle. So I would say close to done is what I recommend. Um, you know, when you're cooking your noodles. Not al dente. You don't want to do half. You want them to be close to done uh, when you're cooking your noodles. And see how that milk helped that cheese loosen up. So once you've done that, now it's time for you to add in the noodles. So you just bring your colander over and you just add your noodles in just like that. Very simple, like I explained. It's not hard. It's not hard to do. Okay? You may want to put a little butter on your noodles, um, you know, just to make it buttery tasty. Butter always is very good on anything. I love butter. I put way too much butter in everything. So if you, as you can see, it's all incorporated and we're done. I mean, it was just that simple. Not hard to do. The children love it. Um, like I said before, the children at my daycare, they love this. Now, I do not put the Rotel tomatoes in for the babies, because they're babies. Um, but for the adults, yes, just to give it that extra pop, um, it's very good. I thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will be coming back very soon. Please like, subscribe, and share. Got tongue twisted there for a little bit. And until next time, you guys be good. See ya.